The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them on ahead of him two by two into every town and place where he himself was to go. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money, no knapsack, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest upon him. But if not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Can you be seated? Today is the feast of Saint Thomas, a person who's who is famously known as Doubting Thomas. I remember when uh, I was in school, the school was having, uh, taking part in a volleyball tournament. And so the team was going and a select few of us went as cheerleaders. So the tournament was from the morning till the evening. It's a one day tournament. So you finish one match after the other. So it doesn't go on to the next day. And so we were a set of us who were cheerleaders and we went over there screamed our guts out all through the day and uh, and our team won the tournament so we were on our way back and on our way back um, we had the we had the microphone that's like the horn you know the horn microphones the old ones where you use it hold it in the hands so each of us was taking turns uh, to celebrate using that and so we would we would uh, speak out the name of the school from where we come and, and, um, and then cry out, give out our cry. And so each one was doing it. When it came to my turn, I, I screamed out the name of the school and then I had to say the name of the place. The place is a very long name called Tripunitara. It's, a, it's not an easy thing to say when you're attaching it to the name of the school as well. And so when I said it, it came out as some absurd word. It didn't even sound like the name of that place. But the only problem was it came out through the horn. So everyone came to and got to hear it. After that, in the school all the time, when they looked at me, they would call me by that. You know, one whole day I spent screaming my guts out for that team. And the only thing they can remember from that day is that one absurd thing that I uttered. Even now, some of my friends, when they, when they refer to me, they'll refer to me in, uh, in connection to that, the way I pronounce that word. St. Thomas's life, poor thing, is something like that. You know, St. Thomas, out of all the things that Thomas has done, we remember him as doubting Thomas. The one thing he said was, I will not believe till I put my finger in his side. And sadly, we, we even depict the picturization of St. Thomas is that of, you know, the hand going into the side. Whoever said he went and actually pushed it in. He must have never even pushed it in, but they've depicted it like he's gone and pushed it in. 
and poor thing. And then what comes after that is my Lord and my God. That my Lord and my God is a result of an embarrassment. It isn't even something that was very great. But they forget that St. Thomas was one of the bravest of the lot. There's an amazingly brave statement that he makes in John chapter 11 when Jesus is going to, to uh, raise Lazarus back to life and when he's going towards uh, Bethany, all of them warn him, do not go because they know he will be persecuted and Jesus has just spoken about his death. And at that time in John chapter 11 verse 16, Thomas who was called the twin said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Now who remembers that? Everyone remembers doubting Thomas. Everyone remembers hand in the side. Everyone remembers my Lord and my God. But we don't remember, come let us go and die with him. That was a beautiful moment of faith. That was a passionate moment of love. If Jesus is not there, my discipleship has no meaning. Come, let us go and die with him. So on one side, you have a Thomas who has uttered this amazing verse of faith. And then on the other side, you have an embarrassing moment of doubt. He's a perfect depiction of you and me. This is how we are. There are moments when we have great and amazing faith. And then there are moments when we have embarrassing doubts. Even though we go to church every day, even though we pray so much, we might come for retreats, we might be in the ministry for years and years, we could be priests and we could be bishops, it doesn't matter. We will have embarrassing moments of doubt. When we will think, will God do anything? Is he even there for us? But at the same time, we are people who do have those amazing moments of faith. Times when we feel so strong within. It's just a reflection of how Christian discipleship is. At times, we'll reach the heights of faith. At times, we'll touch the rock-bottom pits of doubts. And yet, when we look at the life of St. Thomas, we know that God still used a disciple like that. It's just a beautiful reminder to us as well. We might not always be on the highs of spirituality. Maybe more often we are on the lows of spirituality, where we are struggling to even pray. But if we leave ourselves open to God, God will know how to use us especially for you people who meet so many people in the world all the time. You will have your strong moments of faith and the reality is you will also have your moments when your discipleship will not be very pretty. But if you keep yourself open to the Lord, the Lord will be able to use you just as he was able to use St. Thomas. To think that a man who doubted so much went to different far-off lands and ultimately, he died for the Lord. But the passion with which he loved Jesus is what, what highlighted the life of St. Thomas. Let that passion be a part of our life as well, a part of our professions as well, a part of our call as well. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Let us think of the two contrasting moments of the life of St. Thomas. Come, let us die with him, and I will not believe. Lord Jesus, there are so many times I found myself in that moment of great faith. If I was called to be a martyr, I was ready to be a martyr. But there are also times, Lord, when my faith has been an embarrassment, when I've fallen, I've doubted, 
I've struggled to believe. And yet I present myself to you. Oh Jesus, as you use St. Thomas, please use me. Even though I might be erratic in my spirituality, in my faith, Lord Jesus, use me. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.